the Predator Wolf from Alien vs. Predator Requiem, a Hot Toys figure. One of the best figures, one of the best Predators, one of my favorite Predators. I mean, freaking awesome, man. I love this figure. I got him all the accessories that uh, the cleaner and the wolf put together uh, have. So um, I'm just going to do a little review on him. And here's a little bio. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is more than just your average predator sent to clean up an alien outbreak on Earth after an unexpected event in Midwestern America. This super assassin proceeds to track down and neutralize all of the bloodthirsty xenomorphs that have escaped. He also must contend with the most dangerous of all unpredictable of all a grotesque alien predator hybrid known as the Predator Alien. <clears throat> Um, let's do, and here he is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the Predator Hot Toys, really awesome figure, he has double cannons, the cleaner has with one cannon, and comes with a cleaner case. This is a wrist computer. Opens up. This is wrist blades. He's just a, a really awesome figure. If you're a Predator fan, this is a must-have. He's different from all the Predators. He's a little bit slimmer, but he looks very cool. He has a, a scarred face uh, from acid blood from the aliens. Uh, he's, he's just an awesome figure. I recommend him. Highly recommend him. Uh, accessories. He comes with this really cool whip. It's a bendable whip. And um, has a wire inside. So it's very delicate guys, you, you know, it could break so be careful. I wouldn't recommend bending it too much, but it's just a really nice feature, uh, accessory. Uh, look at all the detail. So that's one thing. Comes with a rolled up whip. Same whip, only rolled up, you could put them on his side, hang it on the side of his skirt. So or his pants, whatever you call that. It comes with a retractable spear. Really nice. It um, goes like that. You could put it on his back, so it's pretty cool. And I got on the chest buster. The chest buster has a wire inside. Uh, the wire doesn't go all the way towards the, the end of the Thing, so the little tip doesn't bend but most of the body does so you can bend them and pose them in any shape form you want the chest buster nice detail and he has the bio the mask battle damage from cleaner beautiful and he comes with this really nice base some people didn't like it, they said it was too plain, but I mean, it's okay, you know. The bases now are coming out way, way even better now in more detail. Like the original Hot Toys Predator that came out, the base is beautiful, you know. But this is pretty cool too. So that's like a severed head of an alien, Xenomorph. And he also has the um, cleaner case which he uses to destroy the ship, get rid of any evidence, and it comes with the syringe that he uses to track down the aliens, the alien xenomorphs with its, he gets a sample of their DNA and then he injects it into his wrist computer and that's how he tracks them down. So, pretty cool, right? All this detail. And he comes with a ninja star which they call a shuriken, a shuriken, 
It's all beautifully chromed, just like his gauntlet blades. And I hope they keep that. I hope they don't keep because the original Predator Hot Toys, they just just painted it uh, silver, which I didn't like. I hope they keep this like this, or they just start making these things out of real metal, like some of the swords and the latest uh, uh, Hot Toys figures. Some of the figures that come with weapons like sword, ninja swords, or stuff like that are real, real metal, and they're beautiful. Uh, he also has these uh, plasma cannon, which I like. Just hung it there. His articulation is really, really good. These bodies have really good articulation. These bodies were made specifically for the Predators, and his body was specifically made for him because he's a slimmer version of the Predators, so they couldn't use that body for like all the other Predators. So, he is a bit skinnier. This is his face. He's scarred, you see. Now, um, they started doing uh, open mandibles. You could switch the mand open mandibles and put them in. These are the closed ones. This became default after he came out like that because I guess everyone liked it. So, you can change his expression on his face. He has a really nice necklace. Uh, he has 360. He can go all around. He can go up and down. See? Good range. His arms can go 360 all the way around, but I won't do it because these bodies aren't made. These bodies are made specifically for display. So even though they have all the articulation, they get loose really easily. So these figures are really delicate. You, you shouldn't really play with them. You should just have them as display. So, so he has 360 on his arms. He has rotation at the biceps. He has bendable elbows. See, and he has rotation at the wrist and back and forth. And he has retractable blades. So he's pretty awesome. He has articulation at the chest. It goes all the way forward and back. But I don't want to push him too much. He does rotate 360 at the waist. But I won't because he's hindered for he has a net that hinders that, but still he can turn. So that's pretty good. He his legs go all the way forward and back and in and out. His uh, knees bend right here. They go good range. His feet go down and up and sideways, but they don't go s the swivel, which I didn't like. But most of the predators are like that. Um, it's just nitpicking because these figures are awesome. They have tremendous articulation and tremendous detail. I, I really recommend this figure if you're a Predator fan, an Aliens fan. It's it's an awesome figure. Let's put on his bio. The wolf. For size comparison, the wolf is 13 inches tall um, because the Predators in scale are a feet taller than average humans. They're 7 feet tall, average human is 6 feet tall. So, the figure is really 13 inches tall. Next to Lobo, Lobo is a 9 inch figure, and War Machine, which is a 6 inch action figure. As you can see, the Predator is a pretty large figure. I highly recommend this figure. Um, it's one of my favorite hot toys. I love it. I try not to pose it too much because your joints go, go loose, but it's an awesome figure. Um, you get at eBay for like 180 maybe $200 if you're lucky. Um, yeah, guys, so if you have any questions or any comments, uh, please uh, just post something. Uh, please uh, subscribe. To my channel and talk to you guys later.